Hey guys, how's it going? It's me. It's the end of VidCon Day 1, officially. And, uh, I'm actually not very happy right now, and I'm just being excruciatingly selfish right now, because basically I didn't see Jory Karen all day today. I mean, the entire day I didn't see him at all. Granted, I did go to a lot of panels, but I did walk around a lot and um, and whatnot in hopes of seeing him so he could sign the bag for me. And uh, I, I just didn't see him at all today. I also didn't see the Andrews, and I also didn't see Matt G. And, uh, and whatnot, but... I think I'll be able to rectify that tomorrow because I believe the Andrews are doing the meetup tomorrow. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to find Matt G somewhere tomorrow. But overall today, aside from not seeing Jory Karen all day, that's why I look sad and pitiful because I, I didn't get to see him at all today. But um, I should see hopefully see him tomorrow at the Vlog Wars thing. You know, whether he'll, he'll have hair or not will, is a completely different story. And, and speaking of stories, I've got a ton of stories, actually. I've got a ton of stories. Because today I just met so many amazing people. I met... Let me see, I'm going through some of my pictures here. I met, um, I met Millie from Hey It's Millie. That was really awesome. I met Kat from, um, she was, uh, she's a good friend of Shane Dawson. I finally, uh, met Matt, MG Fenham. Uh, who else did I meet? My, my VidCon buddy, Idoki, um, the Norman Tweeter people. They were really awesome. I got a great picture with, with Bill and Phoebe. I also met Caitlin Bell. That was really awesome. Um, what the Buck Show. Uh, Corrado and his girlfriend. I met them. Corey Williams. Dan Brown. Dane Bow and the whole cast of Annoying Orange. Jax Films. John Paula. Lita Bear. Uh, Matthew. Uh, well, he's the one who did the Joffrey song. I met him. Who else did I meet? I met a couple other people who I don't even know. I don't even know who the fuck they were. I th I want to say this guy from Apprentice Day. I think his name was Matt also. Uh, Megan, Megan Tonjes and Mike Falzone. Mike Anderson. Um, even Mitchell Davis, I met him. And I met this one guy named Nick. And oh my god, he is, he is, he's the most amazing singing guy I've ever met. I also met this guy named Ryan, who is from Apprentice A. I got to meet Sid. I met uh, Soundly Awake, uh, Swift Karate Chop, Tim, well, two Tims, actually. Tim from Tim's Vlogs and Tim from, um, Tim from Apprentice A. And then I also met Zifranco and uh, Rafi. Rafi and Millie I met together. Um... I'm still uploading pictures, so bear with me a second here. Was that everybody? Was that all the pictures? Yeah, so that was all my pictures. But I think one of the most amazing pictures that I took today was with Mr. Benny Fine. That was by far the most amazing the most amazing picture I took today because it was it was the most special picture that I that I took today it really was it it really really meant a lot to me it really really did because I had been trying all day to find Benny Fine after the Millie thing because at the Millie thing I didn't really get to talk to Benny Fine I basically just talked to Millie <laughs> and 
I the only time I even got to see Benny Fine is when I sat down next to Millie to take a picture with her and I saw him hiding under the table. It was it was so adorable. And then it was like from that moment on I was like, I need to find Benny Fine and get a really, really nice picture with him. I really I need this. I absolutely I crave this, I desire this. So I walked around and walked around and walked around some more and walked around. I even saw him once walking around, but I was with the Norman Tweeter people at the time. And as soon as I was done, I was going to rush over to him, but boom, he was gone. And I was like, ding! And then finally, finally I got amazingly lucky. And at one point I was sitting down eating a snack with uh, one of my friends that I met there. And I looked right, right in front of me, boom, there he was, Benny Fine, right in, frucking, right in frucking front of me. See, I can't even fucking talk right now because I'm so fucking retarded. And he was with Lisa, um, Shane, Shane Dawson's girlfriend, Lisa Liedebug, I think, I don't know, Lisa Schwartz, I think, I hope I got that right. She was so sweet, she was so sweet because I... Uh, it was funny because Benny was talking to somebody else so I was like I was telling Lisa how handsome I thought he was and all this other really and I mean I'm talking like right into Benny's ear going yes Benny is very handsome and he didn't hear me at all it was absolutely charming it was absolutely charming and Lisa was like oh that was so cute you know She's like, and I think at one point she said, Benny, I think we may have found you a suitor. And I'm like, oh, shit. But uh, then we, um, Lisa went ahead and took the picture for us. And, oh, I mean, she took the most beautiful picture of me with Benny Fine. I'm probably going to be making this picture my profile picture because I love it so much. It is such a beautiful picture of, of me with Benny. And um, I was just so happy with it. You know, I mean, I didn't get to spend much time talking to him, but hopefully I'll see him tomorrow at the My Music Gathering thing. I mean, it's just kind of hard because I've got so many gatherings that I need to try to fit into a small amount of time. I'm also still kind of hoping that I might be able to go up on stage with My Music tomorrow morning. So um, that would actually be really awesome. And uh, like I said, I met so many people tonight, and dance party was good, played some good music, um, met a lot of YouTubers, a lot of YouTubers, it was, it was good, uh, the only, as I said, the only sad thing is that I, I just didn't meet Jory today, I didn't see Jory today, but I will definitely see him tomorrow at the Vlog Wars finale. And, um, as I said, will he have hair? Or not. It's just a matter of time, really. It's just a matter of time. And, uh, I mean, I just feel so cheated. You know, because I was really hoping to have seen him today and have him sign the bag and just get to talk to him a little bit. And I, once again, I, I got shafted. And it's, and I mean, considering what a great day I had today, I really shouldn't let him discount all the other great stuff that happened today. You know, like, I believe, I think, I asked, like, two questions on the Millie panel, which are probably going to be in the next live Ask Millie. So I'm, I'm really excited for that. I'm really, really excited for that. I mean, there were so many amazing moments that happened today. And I'm just so, I'm so forlorn just because of the whole jewelry thing. And I really should not give him that kind of power over me to make me feel so terrible about myself. Just because he's too busy. Just because, you know, he's out there partying it up, you know. And, you know, I can't blame him for that. You know, this is a once, once a year thing, you know. I mean... It's, it's pretty much what they do. They go out, they party, they drink, whatever, you know? I mean, they have a great time. They, YouTubers know how to party, you know? I can't lie about that. They, they know how to party. And, you know, sometimes, unfortunately, that means sometimes the hardcore fans, such as myself, kind of get shafted. 
you know, because I I kept tweeting him saying, hey, you know, are you here, blah, 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 you know, can you come, can you sign the bag? And he completely ignored me. And I know this for a fact because he, you know, didn't, res- he tweeted something else, like five minutes after I, I tweeted what I, asking him where he was. But then again, like I said, you know, again, it's one of those things. He has like 9,000 followers, so there's also a very good chance he may not have even seen my tweet. You know, and I I don't blame him at all. I don't blame him at all. I actually, in all honesty, I blame myself because he's not making me feel bad about myself. I am making me feel bad about myself right now. It's not on him at all, you know, and I'm sure if he had had the time, he would have he would have came around, he would have found me, he would have signed the bag, absolutely no problem. And I don't doubt whatsoever that he will, in fact, sign sign the bag at the after the vlog wars is over. You know, it's just it just it just hurts. You know, cuz um when you care about somebody like I care about Joy Karen when little things like this happen, it just hits you. And it hits you hard. Very hard. And it's it's a hard reality pill to swallow sometimes. That you just you just literally got to stop flattering yourself into thinking that, you know, this person would, you know... Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to word this. I, I really can't think of a way to describe how I'm feeling right now. Aside from really tired, exhausted, and probably a little bit hungry, because I really didn't eat very much today either. But this video is starting to get really long. It's already up to 12 minutes. Um, as I said, I took a bunch of pictures today. I mean, I had, my total amount of pictures now is 57. I've got 57 pictures. I had, I took 19 yesterday and the remainder, so 57 minus 19 is how many pictures I took today. So that's pretty much where I'm at at this point. And, uh, and whatnot. So tomorrow's another day. I mean, I, I, I've just got to stop and think about things and realize that I can't expect him to drop everything for me. You know, I, I've got to stop flattering myself into thinking that somebody that I barely, I really barely know, who I just happen to care about very deeply, you know, just doesn't doesn't care to drop everything to accommodate me. And that's just me, again, being selfish. Selfish about the whole thing. You know, because the bottom line is it's it's a fact. He, he really doesn't owe me anything. He doesn't owe me anything. He doesn't even have to sign my bag. He doesn't owe me anything. You know, I keep I keep setting myself up for this kind of unpleasantness. Because if it wasn't for me feeling like shit right now about this, I, I had a fantastic day aside from this. I had a fantastic, wonderful, wonderful day. I mean, just from meeting Betty Fine, my, I, it was just wonderful. But again, it's just, it's just one of those things It's going to take me some time to to really get over and it's it's not going to get much easier I, I can already predict that because after tomorrow you know obviously I'm going to see him at the vlog wars you know and then it's going to be like oh everything's happy and assorted cashews and all that kind of crap all over again and and I mean the thing is I probably still won't even be happy after that but I'm going to try my damnedest to just be happy with whatever time uh, Jory spends with me at all. Any, any time at all that he can give me, you know, sign my book, maybe take another picture, 
you know, a nice, I mean, I would really like to take, like, a nice picture with him, like a nice picture. Like, um, when you look at my pictures, you'll see that I have pictures of me hugging people with my arms up around their neck like this, and just kind of snuggling up to them. Like a nice picture like that, you know, not a picture of him making some kind of goofy pose, but like a nice a nice memorable picture that I, I will always treasure for, for all times, you know, just something, something. And anyway, this video has gone on way too long, but thanks for listening, guys. I mean, it's hard sometimes when you put yourself out there and you just say how you feel sometimes. Sometimes you just have to say how you're feeling in order to really understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling. And it's it's not fun. It's not fun feeling this way. It, it's, it's horrible. It makes me feel bad because he, he hasn't done anything wrong. He has never done a single thing to wrong me, ever. He has never steered me wrong. He has never steered me wrong. He's never said a single solitary mean thing to me in this this whole time that I've known of him. And yet I always end up somehow turning it around and making him look like an asshole when he absolutely is not. It's just me being... Straight up, it's me being an asshole because I'm being selfish about how he spreads his time around. And again, number one, that's not my business how he spends his time. That's really not my business. As I said before, he doesn't owe me anything. But anyways, once again, this video is ridiculously long. I'm going to post a link down here to my new photos from today. And there are a lot of them. But um, I, I strongly recommend that out of all the pictures, I'm probably going to make it like the, the, the picture. Like I said, I'm probably going to make it my profile picture. But the picture of me and Betty Fine is, is just the most beautiful picture. And it was so cute. Lisa actually labeled it our engagement picture. I mean, that's how, that's how cute, how cute Lisa was. She was like, oh, it's your engagement photo. And I was like, oh, jeez. Really? But anyway, guys, I, I really got to try to get all this stuff uploaded and get to sleep because um, tomorrow's another day, you know, and I got to pick myself back up, you know, wipe my tears away, accept things the way they are, and just keep pressing forward, keep pressing forward, it's all I can do, it's really all I can do, have a good night guys.